In this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the TI-30XA and we're going to learn practically everything that this calculator can do and by the end of this video you should be quite proficient in the use of the 30XA. Okay, so let's start by going through everything in this calculator. So starting with trig. This calculator tends to do things in a way that is in a sense backwards. Um, so when you're taking sine 30 you're in fact putting in 30 sine as so. So 30 equals and then sine and you should get a half. Uh, you'll notice above all of the buttons you've got uh, this yellow text. You can access all of the functions in the yellow text by pressing the second function button. So for example we put in 0 0.5 equals. We can press second function and then the sine button so that gets inverse sine and that is of course 30. Um, your calculator is in degrees as you can see by here, I'll show you how to change that later. Um, you also have the hyperbolic functions here, if you press hype, the HYP button, you get HYP appears up here. So if you use any of the sine and cosine or tangent, these are now the hyperbolic functions associated with those, so hyperbolic sine or hyperbolic cosine. Um, exponents now, um, relatively straightforward, so we can do say 2 to the power of 3, so we put in 2, this y to the x button and raise it to the power of 3 equals, so that is of course 8. Um, on the display, on the um, main bit here you've got various sort of quick access, you've got your square root which is the power of half, you've got your squared and your 1 over x, so you can just press like 5, 1 over x, it gives you 0 0.2, so that's a sort of shortcut method. Um, what about if you want to put in a negative power, this confuses people um, for good reason. It's not entirely straightforward in this calculator. So I'll show you how to take, let's say, um, 5 to the power minus 2. So you put in 5, then you press equals. Now we want to raise this to the power, so y to the x button. And if you look right in the bottom of this calculator, there's this plus to minus button. So raised to 5, put in power, then we put 2 and then this plus to minus button, that turns out to a minus um, and then we press equals and we get 0 0.04 which is what we're looking for. Okay, but if we want to change the number of decimal places, I've currently got this set to 2. This fix here tells you that you've set this. Um, so if you press uh, second function, then you press the dot that gets you fix, and then you press any number here, like 9, we get lots and lots of them. Um, interestingly, if you press fix, second function fix 0, and you do something like 1 divided by 2, it will tell you it's 1, because that's the way the rounding works in the calculator. So let's set that back to 2, and of course you get 0.5, which is far more sensible. The uh, calculator also has a nice built-in fractions function. Uh, just note the notation here, 1 this symbol 2 is equivalent to a half. If you've got 1, an underscore 1, and then this, that's 1 and a half. You can access the fractions using this A, B over C button, um, which is here. So if you wanted to do something like 1 half plus 1 half, you can do that as 1, um, or you can do 1 half times 1 half, of course equals a quarter division you can do all of that um, say we take one uh, sorry one half plus 1.5 you get two say um, let's show you a mixed fraction so one half plus um, oh what three over four and you get this one and one quarter in that display. See that underscore telling you that's one times one quarter. Okay, let's move on. Um, you can do some base, very basic things with complex numbers, um, namely changing it from rectangular to polar form. Somewhat clumsy on this calculator, but it works. So if we do 3 plus 4i, notice 3, 4, 5 triangle, this should, the answer should not be a surprise to you. So it's 3 second function this um, 
x to y button on top of pi and then 4 then we press um, second function um, r to p that gives us 5, you know, 3 squared plus 4 squared square rooted and then if we press second function x to y this will give us the other part of that which is 53 which is of course the inverse tangent of 4 over 3 essentially this number you're entering is 3 comma 4 so you're putting 3 into the first part then you're saying comma then you're entering 4 and then on here you're going what's the first number and what's after the comma that's essentially what those steps are doing okay next thing um, we'll look at changing between degrees radians and gradients very simple to do you've got this DRG button if you keep pressing it you'll notice the display changing up here so we are just leave it in degrees um, this calculator has got nice built-in scientific notation which you can access using this EE button so um, like 1 EE 9 that's a billion and we could do that plus say um, 5 EE to the 8 equals well that's 1.5 billion though this gives it in the big form here you can change it using second function psi and this calculator will then work in scientific notation okay let's go over the page and finish with a look at the statistical functions that this calculator can do um, you've got things like the mean, the sum of x, the sum of x squared, um, the standard deviation, this one here is when you're dividing by n minus 1 and you've got the standard deviation based on the n definition of the standard deviation and let's just go through an example and you'll see how to do all of the statistics functions um, so just very simple example 1, 2, 2, 3 just to be quick um, you of course need to clear the memory so second function the CSR so I'll just show you that second function CSR of course I get an error because there's nothing in the statistics memories um, so let's just enter this data very simple to do 1 sigma plus so 1 sigma plus that's in the memory this n keeps count um, you can use the sigma minus button to remove a data point um, you see we've got this repeated 2 so if I have repeated data it's a pain to enter at all so we can speed this up by using the frequency button so if we do two then we tell the calculator that there's two of them so two second function then there's a frequency on the one over x button set that frequency to two and then sigma plus to add it to memory and then we've got the three left so three add that to the memory that's telling us that n is four and then now we can do the calculations with that data we can manipulate that saved in memory so we can do things like second function and then um, x x bar which is our mean here calculates the mean that shouldn't be surprising second function I've got the um, sum of x which is 8 um, 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8 um, second function sigma um, xn minus 1 and you've got sigma x um, based on the n one there so you can do all these statistics um, so that's the statistics that this calculator can do there is also a percentage function um, floating around somewhere basically it just divides the number by a hundred see it's on the number two you've got factorial hiding in here um, also got combinations and permutations um, so five second function NCR2 equals that gives us uh, 5 combination 2 uh, same thing with permutations so I think that's practically everything that's built into this calculator that I can find um, hopefully this has served as a very good um, general overview of the calculator and now you should be able to do practically everything you need to do on this calculator Hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you very much for